you guys. It is me again. Hey, today is uh, Saturday, July the 2nd, day 183. And now we're uh, Project Serve Him More. It is good to be here tonight, guys. I hope y'all doing all right. Um, I am going to have to make this video short, you know, as I usually do on Saturday nights, just for the fact, that, as usual, I'm way behind. It's after midnight. Uh, I've not got my finished it, my finish, yeah, my sermon finished yet, uh, or anything else ready. So, uh, I will have to be a little bit short tonight. But like I said, hope y'all doing all right. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I was going to ask you guys to pray for me. Uh, pray for. I know this may be stupid, but I don't think it is. Uh, uh, pray for my heat pump, guys, or air conditioning, whatever you want to call it. Heat pump central air unit. Um, I went to the gun store today and bought some bullets to reload for my 357 SIG. And uh, when I came back home, Dad was actually going to get a haircut. And... Uh, Mom and my aunts and my uncle were here, and they were just all, you know, oh, the air conditioning's tore up, you know, and it had, it, it only, you know, it's been so hot here today, it, it probably only been down 30 or 40 minutes, and this house was already like 80 degrees, you know, it went from like 72 to 80. Uh, so anyway, I, long story short, guys, I don't know what happened. Uh, the inside unit quit running, the fan quit blowing. The outside unit was still running, but the inside unit wasn't running. So I took the panel off of it, flipped the breaker three or four times. Uh, the drip the drip pan in there in your evaporator core had a little water in it. I, I drained it out. I don't know, you know it, it. But I mean, there was definitely something wrong. I mean, like I said, it went for like an hour and wouldn't run. Uh, I don't know if it had froze up, uh, but. I don't know. I just let it sit a little while. Flipped the breaker four or five times. The the inside unit, the blower motor, finally took back off and started running. Uh, so everything started working back, and it's worked. You know that was like at two o'clock today, uh, between two and three, and it's well, like I said, it's midnight now, and it's still working, working fine. So uh, you all just pray for that. Pray that that'll, you know, that that it just maybe froze up or some kind of hinky something, you know, happened because you know there's just uh, you know, I, I just, I don't need to have to, you know, try to buy heat pumps or inside units or whatever. And, uh, you know, even the inside unit, you're looking a thousand bucks or more. Uh, so j just pray for me guys that, that that'll, you know, that, that the Lord will take care of that. And I know that he can. Let's see. I guess that's about it tonight, guys, as far as jibber jabber. I really don't have that much to say anyway. Uh, you know, just, just keep praying for me as you always do guys. I'm having a bunch of, I've got, it seems like I have this about once a month or once every couple months. I'll have a little spell where I'll have two or three vehicles maybe that just drive me crazy. Well, I'm in the middle of that right now. So pray for me over that. Uh, i got uh, a couple different Jeeps that are kind of driving me crazy and then, you know, another car or two. Uh, so you all just pray for me on that. Pray that the Lord will, will lead me in the direction to, to fix these things and and fix them for the people as cheap and uh, best as we can. But anyway, guys, let's get in the, on to the important part, and that is the Word of God. So we're going to be continuing in John chapter 2, starting in verse 1. And here we go. Oh, and one more good thing, guys. The Internet stayed on today, the Internet and TV. So <laughs> at least I've not had that to get my blood pressure up. But Anyway, let's start. And the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus saith unto him, They have no wine. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. His mother saith unto the servants, Whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. And there were set there six water pots of stone after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, containing two or three firkins apiece. Jesus saith unto them, Fill the water pots with water, 
and they filled them up to the brim. And he saith unto them, Draw out now, and burn unto the governor of the feast. And they burn it. When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and knew not whence it was, but the servants which drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called the bridegroom, and saith unto him, Every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine, and when men have well drunk, then that which is worse, but thou hast kept the good wine unto now. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee, and manifested forth his glory, and his disciples believed on him. Anyway, guys, that looks like about 11 verses. Uh, so we'll stop there tonight. Uh, like I said, guys, I just I appreciate you being here. I really do. And we'll try to get to answer some comments tomorrow. Uh, I don't know. I just got so much going on, like I said. Uh, today we uh, we pressure wash the decks um, after we got home from work, and I've got an electrical outlet that I have to fix in the house before we go back to work Tuesday. Uh, my buddy's wanting to go bike riding a little bit. I need to finish pressure washing the deck. I actually didn't finish it, and part in the end of the house. Uh, I've got to clean the swimming pool. Uh, I've got to go to Pikeville. Uh, it's just this a little town about 45 minutes away. We had like it's, it's the a big town. It's bigger than Whitesburg. I mean, it's you guys know what I'm trying to say. It's it's a small town compared to most of you guys. What most of you guys are used to, but for around here, it's a pretty big city. Uh, that's where the uh, bankruptcy hearings are held, and my hearing is Friday, and I don't know where I'm going. I got to go to the BBT Bank building, so I've got to find it. I'm gonna go. Tomorrow, I'm probably going to go Monday. I don't think I'm going to do it tomorrow. Um, but I'm going to go over there and find everything. That way, the day I have to be there, you know, I'm not over there, you know, late for a hearing or something because I'm running around trying to find out where this place is at because I've never been there. Uh, I mean, I've never been to this particular building. Uh, so I don't know exactly where it's at. So um, i got to do that. I just, i got so much i got to do over the next couple of days. Uh, but I, I'm gonna try to get to to uh, the comments, guys. So just pray for me, pray for pray for church. You guys that see this tonight, especially pray for my church tomorrow. Uh, I'm struggling, guys. I mean, I'm not gonna lie about it. I, I, and it may be a test from the Lord, but it's just you know, like I said, it's just here. It just seems like the, you know, it, I don't know. It just you know, at least before we weren't having big crowds, but at least all the key people that I needed to be there were there. And now I'm I'm having those people drop off and just you know not come and doing other stuff and uh, you know they'll come one week and miss two and uh, <clears throat> I don't know it's just uh, I need help you know and I, and I know the only way I can, you know I, I need that help from the Lord I need that strength and to give me the wisdom to you know figure out what to do because you know you one person can't run a church I mean that's the thing about it. Uh, it and I know it's the Lord's church anyway, but like I said, you know, to just uh, want to do to do the things that need to be done, it takes a a, bu a bunch of people. And when you're a bunch that you're usually dependent on, you know, when they start not even showing up, uh, you just don't know what to do. So just pray for me, guys. Pray that we'll have a good day tomorrow, and I'll have enough show up that, that I can do something and, and have a good spirit filled day. And uh, I guess that's about it, guys. So like I said, just pray for me. Pray for my business. This was the worst week we've had, and since since probably snow was on the ground, this is the worst week worst week we've had since snow was on the ground. So let's just pray that this week will, business will be better. Uh, pray for my family. Pray for my church. Like I said, good Lord willing, I'll be back here tomorrow night, guys. I know I've ended up making this long video and didn't want to, but eh, it's the way the ball bounces. Uh, so till I see you guys again, thanks for being here. I love you guys. Good night, and God bless.